Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Okay, I'm watching the charts now as our system moves in tonight. Going to detail who should get what precipitation because uh, new computer information is being run every hour and beefing up the moisture a little bit in the Western Valley, especially. Doppler radar shows the blue right here to the west here, just to the west of Ontario. Can't find any places reporting snow. That's where their weather stations are, but there's likely snow falling where the deeper blue is. Some of this is not reaching the ground. But the computer chart is showing between Ontario and Emmett, right there in Payette County, a little bullseye of some moisture. Uh, just north and west of Emmett, uh, that could even easily be a couple of inches of snow from the system. So we do have to watch the western part of the valley as this system moves on through from northwest to southeast. This is the region right here we're going to watch. If Canyon County could get upwards to an inch here out of this. I'm thinking a half inch, but could be up to an inch. And Boise could get up to a half inch as well as the system moves through tonight. And the time will be uh, the next hour or so in Ontario, then closer to eight or nine o'clock or so in Boise, where the on set of moisture. So watch out late this evening if you have travel in Canyon County towards Ontario. There could be some slick roads developing here in the next few hours. Behind it, you see dry weather coming in. That dry weather is going to give us some sunshine. The cold front coming through with some wind behind it will tend to scour the cold air out of the valley. It will start to warm things up a little bit, but then the cold air will come right back in and cool us down, but it will dry out at least as this moves through. Let's look at the timing of all of this. Big mass of cold air coming in. Mild weather in the higher elevations. Those temperatures in the 40s are going to be on, and the higher elevations are going to be a lot colder as this slides out and the cold weather moves in. That will set the stage for our next system to come in with cold air in place. That one has a lot more moisture and a half a foot of snow will likely fall in Idaho's central mountains in those higher elevations. Brundage Mountain, Tamarack, Brundage is going to open on Friday and it could be right in time as another system, that system moves in with hopefully a half a foot of snow up there. Uh, maybe more, maybe a little less. We'll keep an eye on that as it moves on in. Let's look at the timing now of that cold front coming in. Here's 9, 8 o'clock tonight and that's when snow could be on our doorstep for Boise here. Timing's difficult to tell what it what, might, might take a little while for it to get here but in the Western Valley likely snow will be flying in slick conditions in this region. It will push Still pretty quickly overnight tonight. Three o'clock in the morning, still clouds and snow showers. That's when they'll come to an end. But seven o'clock with clearing skies, anything on the ground with those dropping temperatures, we could have slick conditions around the region. So keep that in mind. And snow showers could continue during the day in the, the uh, Magic Valley. Uh, cold, blustery conditions with some sunshine finally coming in for Thursday. And then the cloud cover starts to come back in during the day on Friday. And look at this deeper blue showing up. This has more moisture. So one to two inches of snow coming through the Treasure Valley for Friday. A night. It might mix with and turn to rain in the Western Valley here, but up in the McCall area, we could be seeing three, four, five inches, and Brundage Mountain is right here. Tamarack might end up being similar to this with six or seven inches of snow from that system as it moves through. It probably won't get real bitter cold behind this system during the day on Saturday, so we may get some melting in the valley later in the afternoon. Now, here's a combination of both storm systems when we look at this. Again, I'm thinking upwards to most of the snow here in Canyon County coming from uh, similar amounts for the first system and the second system, but Boise could get over an inch and a half uh, on the second system, the first system a coating to a half inch. So it's a tough call here what will end up actually happening. But the bottom line is this is how much we can get between those two storms, three and a, a little more than three inches of snow at Idaho City, probably a little bit more than that at Bogus Basin as well. The higher elevations, first storm system, about an inch, maybe two in Long Valley. But then when you look at the forecast charts here, you bump it up a bit when you add in what's going to be coming in a few few more inches likely from Friday night storm system with a half a foot possible up around Brundage Mountain. Stanley Sun Valley, maybe an inch, possibly two in Stanley. Not much in the Ketchum area with the first system. And when the second system comes in again, it will favor northern sections between Stanley and Atlanta, which could get several inches out of this. The Magic Valley, a coating for Thursday morning. Watch out for icy conditions. And the next system again may favor Twin Falls southward where a little bit more snow will move. Let's look at that forecast for the Treasure Valley now. Coming up for the day tomorrow, after snow showers tonight and that coating. Slippery conditions in the morning, but a brisk wind developing during the day. The stronger northwest winds will drop. These high temperatures will not be representative of the day. In the 20s with wind chill factors in the upper teens tomorrow. And then 20s in Long Valley, 30s in Idaho City and uh, Boise County. But after an inch or two of snow, then it will feel colder later in the day. Although it may not feel as cold because there will be less moisture in the air in the afternoon as well. But slick conditions again. East Central Mountains could be an inch or two with Stanley, a half inch around Sun Valley. And the Magic Valley, 
A coating of snow with some slick conditions possible in the morning. We may get to 30, but it will get colder in the afternoon. Here's my on your side extended forecast. And the bigger, more impressive system comes in on Friday afternoon. It could be noon around uh, the McCall area, but as the sun goes down, right around this time, we'll start to see snow flying in the Treasure Valley Friday night. You'll wake up Saturday with snow on the ground again, Don. Mixing it up a little bit. We are mixing it up indeed. It should dry out for, uh, for Christmas, and hopefully we'll get some melting. We're probably going to get some fog developing again Coming towards back. Christmas, yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. All right, thanks, Scott. Coming up next, helping thousands of kids across the valley why Christmas morning will be a bit brighter, all because of you. And camo is the new Christmas color, at least for some veterans in the Treasure Valley. That story's still ahead. Don Nelson, Michelle Edmonds, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Sports with Paul Gerke. This is Today 6 on your side at 6.